This presentation will show how leveraging the advantages of EGAN FETs, such as small size and low loss, enhance the performance of ultra-thin multi-level DC to DC converters. As computers, displays, smartphones, and other consumer electronic systems become thinner and more powerful over the past decade, there is increasing demand for addressing the challenge of thinner solutions while extracting more power out of limited space. To address this challenge, we'll first examine the feasibility of adopting various non-isolated DC to DC step-down topologies for an ultra-thin 48 volt to 20 volt power solution. The bottleneck of thinning a DC to DC step-down converter lies in the magnetic components. Designers usually have to either embed them into the circuit board or increase the switching frequency to shrink their size. The former increases design and assembly complexity, while the latter requires advanced switching techniques to maintain high efficiency. Otherwise, it incurs lower efficiency as well as thermal problems. In general, inductor loss also increases when it gets thinner. These are the issues that confront an ultra-thin synchronous buck converter. Another option, zero voltage switching synchronous buck converters, can substantially reduce switching loss and allow for higher switching frequency operation with the smaller inductor. With this topology, the control complexity is the main challenge. Another topology, the multi-phase converter, is composed of multiple interleaved synchronous buck stages. This solution allows the use of thinner inductors by distributing the output power processed by the single large inductor in a synchronous buck converter among multiple smaller inductors. This, however, may not address the loss and thermal issues on the inductors as the volt seconds for each inductor remains unchanged. The inductorless switched capacitor converter removes the need for an inductor and is ideal for a thin design. The main issue with this topology is the lack of flexibility in step-down ratios. The hybrid synchronous buck converter combines a multi-level converter with a synchronous buck converter to improve efficiency and EMI performance. The effective frequency seen by the inductor is still the switching frequency, thus it's not as useful in shrinking the inductor size. The multi-level converter can achieve the same inductor current ripple as the synchronous buck converter, but with lower switching frequency and inductance. This offers the benefit of reduced switching loss and inductor size. The drawback is that a comprehensive control scheme for startup and flying capacitor voltage balancing can be challenging. So why EGAN FETs? This table compares a 100 volt EGAN FET with two best in class silicon MOSFET counterparts. This comparison slightly disadvantages the EGAN FETs because we're comparing 80 volt MOSFETs against 100 volt EGAN FETs. The EGAN FETs have much lower gate charge, no reverse recovery, lower output charge, and are significantly smaller versus the silicon devices with similar arm resistance. Now, why digital control? Well, the ultra-thin converter design employs digital control due to its flexibility, especially in development of complex control schemes. The three control loops, output voltage, output current, and flying capacitor voltage loops required to regulate the multi-level converter and various circuit protection functions can be easily accommodated. The high time resolution allows for optimal dead time management for the EGAN FETs, whose dead time can be within 10 nanoseconds and is much lower than that of the silicon MOSFETs and its controller driver. Digital control also enables the use of GAN compatible gate drivers that have high drive strength for fast switching and high side gate voltage damping for clamped over voltage protection. The operating principle of a three level topology used to design the ultra thin converter is shown here. The switching events are at less than 50% duty cycle. Q1 and Q2 have the same duty cycle 
and are 180 degrees phase shifted. Q1 and Q4 and Q2 and Q3 are complementary, respectively. The switch node voltage and inductor current are shown in the bottom two waveforms. When Q3 and Q1 conduct, the flying capacitor and output inductor are charged up. Q1 turns off, Q4 turns on, the output inductor freewheels through Q3 and Q4, Q3 turns off, Q2 turns on, the flying capacitor charges up the output inductor. And last, Q2 turns off, Q3 turns on again, current commutation always happens between Q1 and Q4 and Q2 and Q3. In this way, the frequency seen at the switch node and the input is twice the switching frequency. To design this 40 volt to 60 volt input, 5 to 20 volt output voltage, three level converter, EGAN FETs are used to further reduce the converter size and improve efficiency. A 100 volt, 3.5 milliohm EGAN FET is chosen for Q1, as this device needs to block the full input voltage for a short period during startup. 40 volt, 3.5 milliohm EGAN FETs are used for Q2, Q3, and Q4. The converter is switched at 400 kilohertz with the 2.4 microohm, 3.5 millimeter inductor seeing a frequency of 800 kilohertz while producing a 12 and a half full ampere maximum output current. The fundamental control of the three level converter needs to implement not only output voltage regulation and overcurrent protection, but also flying capacitor voltage current balancing during normal operation and startup. In order to avoid overstressing any FETs, it's required that the flying capacitor be charged up to half the input voltage during startup. Here we make use of the existing voltage sensing resistor network at a resistor between VN and VCP, such that by turning on only Q4, the resistor divider would charge up VCP to half of the input voltage. More information on the control methodology can be found in the paper referenced on this slide. A photo of the three level converter is shown here. All components, including housekeeping power supply and current sense, are on the top side of the board, and the maximum component height is only 3.5 millimeters. Total system efficiencies at 48 volt input, 12 volt, and 20 volt output are shown in the graph on the left versus output current. At 20 volt output, efficiencies reach nearly 98%. The thermal image of the converter operating at 48 volts to 19 volts with 12 and a half amps output current and 800 LFM cooling is shown in the right graph. The maximum temperature on the board is less than 65 degrees C. This converter is highly efficient and can carry more current with some forced air. Now let's see how the two-phase design compares. The EGAN FET-based two-phase converter shown on the left is designed using a two-phase controller and four 100-volt EGAN FETs with two 10 microhenry three and a half millimeter inductors. The switching frequency is set at 400 kilohertz, the same as the three level converter to compare the performance. The overall power efficiencies of the two converters, including the housekeeping power consumption at 48 volt input and 20 volt outputs are illustrated in the graph at the right. At the same 400 kilohertz switching frequency, the three level converter achieves 97.8% efficiency and over 1% higher efficiency than the two phase converter. And that represents a 35% loss reduction at full load. 
This presentation evaluated the design challenges and benefits of common DC to DC step down topologies for an ultra thin 48 volt to 20 volt 250 watt converter. Two topologies, the two phase Bach and the three level converter were selected to build converters of 3.5 millimeter maximum component thickness. The three level converter achieved a peak efficiency of 97.9% and is more efficient than the two phase converter with the same height limitation and FET size. The EGAN FETs not only reduce the area occupied with their tiny footprints, but also improve the overall power efficiency with their fast switching capability. For more information, visit epc-co.com.